Hi guys, so you've gone ahead and bought yourself a DJI Inspire 1. Now one of the first things you're going to want to do when you get this machine is to update the firmware and there's various reasons why you'll want to update the firmware. Firmware updates are just a commonplace thing these days with electrical products. It seems like you can't buy yourself a brand new phone or camera or even an Xbox these days without having to do some sort of firmware update. So let's upgrade our Inspire 1. To do this you're going to want to connect the camera onto the bottom. Take the supplied memory card out of the Inspire camera and then connect it to your computer. The computer that I'm using only has an SD card reader, so I'm using an adapter to change it. Then plug this into your PC. You're going to need to download the firmware and put it on the memory card. So go to DJI.com, click on the Inspire and then Downloads. On this page you will need to download the application. This is for your mobile device that you're going to be using to view the Inspire's camera footage from. Just below that you can see the Inspire 1 firmware. Now we're going to download this as a zip file unzip it and then place the bin file into our memory card. So this is what's inside that zip file. You get a how to PDF and the bin file itself. You'll want to drag this bin file and drop it onto the memory card. Once that's complete take the memory card out of your computer. Now insert the memory card into the Inspire 1 camera. Now launch the application on your mobile device with the mobile device plugged into the controller. Turn on the controller and then turn on the Inspire 1 itself. You should hear this faint beeping noise from the Inspire 1 camera. Now if you look at your mobile device you will notice that there is an option to now upgrade the firmware. Once you tap agree the firmware will then start to install. This can take anything from 5 to 25 minutes. During this upgrade process you may hear beeping coming from the Inspire 1. You will also see the lights flashing and it may also reboot itself, but this is completely normal. Once the update is complete, you will get a notification to say that the machine is now going to restart. So that's the Inspire 1 upgraded, but you will now also need to upgrade your radio. As you can see on the options it's given an overall status and it's reminded me that the remote controller also needs upgrading. Fortunately this is just as easy as upgrading the Inspire 1. To upgrade it I'm going to use this memory stick. Earlier on we downloaded that zip file with the firmware on it and we dropped it onto the memory card. Basically we're going to do the same thing but instead of dropping it onto the memory card I'm going to drop it onto this memory stick. Then we're going to plug this memory stick into the USB port on the remote. So I now have the same firmware file that I used to update the Inspire 1 now on this memory stick. You can see that the remote has a USB port on it here. With the remote turned off plug your USB stick into it. Once you've done that turn on the remote and then wait. After around 20 seconds the LED status will then go blue. It is now updating the firmware. You will want to leave it beeping like this until the LED goes to green. This process usually takes between 2 and 3 minutes. Now that the LED has gone solid green, we can now power down the remote and remove the USB. And it's as simple as that. Your Inspire 1 is now fully upgraded to the latest firmware. So that's all for this installation video guys. If you have any questions please leave them below and I'll try and answer all of them. Thanks for watching, see you soon.